Hello, my name is Jimmy, and today we're gonna go over some auto news of the week. The biggest news of this week, the Nissan Z, or Z, depending on where you're from, has finally been released, or at least the prototype. We see the Z's evolution here, with more details on the past, like the 300ZX taillights and garnish. That said, some have noticed the cut lines of the 400Z prototype is shared with the 370Z. Although Nissan has not confirmed it, I do believe this is the case, because if we take a look at the pillar location, glass, interior bits and pieces, it definitely lines up with the 370Z. Is that a problem? Well, personally, I don't think so. The 370Z isn't a bad sports car, and with some updates on the same chassis, it can actually come in cheaper than its biggest rival, the Supra. However, this is just a prototype, so it may not mean that it is actually what it is. I guess we have to wait and see to see exactly what's going to happen. It's not even 2021 yet, and Hyundai has released the 2022 Hyundai Tucson. Being Hyundai's best-selling model globally, this is a huge uplift to make sure the new model is successful. There's going to be two wheelbase options worldwide, although here in North America, we should only see one. Something they wanted to focus on with this new model was capabilities of including the regular internal combustion engine, as well as a hybrid and even a plug-in hybrid option. On the outside, Hyundai calls this shape parametric dynamic with kinetic dual services. Fancy words to state that it has plenty of creases and sharp edges. We first saw this on the Hyundai Elantra. Within the new Tucson though, we do see a brand new digital dash with swooping shapes. It kind of reminds me of that brand new S-Class. The all new Tucson goes on sale in Korea in September of 2020 as a 2021 model. And for the rest of the world, it's gonna be a 2022 model starting in the first half of 2021. As crossovers are the biggest thing, let's move on to another, Mazda, the CX-30. The Mazda CX-30 is a perfectly fine subcompact crossover. However, Mazda has recently been putting their 2.5 liter turbo four-cylinder in all their vehicles, from the CX-5 to the Mazda 3, and now they're going to shove it right into the CX-30. This turbo motor shares the same rating as the rest of the lineup with 227 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque, when using 87 octane, and if you use premium fuel, well, that bumps it up to 250 horsepower and 320 pound-feet of torque. It shares the same six-speed automatic and all-wheel drive system. We should see this in the beginning of 2021. While adding turbos is great, going electric is the mainstream. For Hummer, they're gonna review the brand new electric truck on October 20th. For now, they showed us this quick video of it crab walking. Pretty interesting. Would the Hummer electric truck be your next electric vehicle, or would it be the Tesla Cybertruck, or the F-150 electric pickup? In other GM news for 2021, Chevy has stolen the GMC's Multi-Pro tailgate. Brand new for the Silverado, named the Multi-Flex tailgate, it shares the same functionality as the GMC Sierra's tailgate. So we should see more functionality out of it, however, potentially more damage on the tailgate. If you don't remove the ball hitch, it can drop right on it. And that's all the auto news for this week. Do say subscribe so that you can come back for auto news weekly. Thanks, take care.